We had the opportunity to know an admirable homeopathic healing center run by Dr. Atul and Dr. Latika Jagi. And it is truly amazing to see how the teachings of Professor George Fitulkas are so strongly embedded in India and how patients benefit from homeopathy every day. India is a special place not only because of its ancient history or because in its people you find freedom, but because since 1810, when homeopathy arrived in India, homeopathy continued to spread and the Indians found in its philosophy and principles a reflection of their beliefs and culture. With generations of students with a background in medicine, Doctors Atul and Latika Jagi teach, both theoretically and clinically, the beneficial effects of classical homeopathy on hundreds of patients. These young students will become the next generation of homeopaths. effectiveness of homeopathy has been extensively demonstrated in clinical cases and scientific papers in peer-reviewed medical journals. If you would like to read more about it, please follow the links in the description. Homeopathic remedies undergo a process called potentization to achieve their therapeutic effects. There are more than 3,000 homeopathic medicines studied in homeopathic medical literature. The importance of homeopathy as a healthcare system is reflected in the widespread acceptance by a significant portion of its population due to its proven effectiveness. This is evident in the large number of patients at the H3 clinic, which stands for Homeopathy, Health and Happiness, in this wonderful country called India. Satul and Latika Jaggi share and spread with dedication, enthusiasm and professionalism the teachings of Professor George Pitulkas and Dr. Samuel Hahnemann. We talk with some of their students to ask them what does it mean to them to study and apply the teachings of Professor George Pitulkas? Hello, I'm Dr. Avi. Hello, I'm Dr. Kavita. And uh, we are uh, doing e learning program here in H3 Center of Classical Homeopathy with our moderator, Dr. Atul Jaggi. And uh, I will say this this teaching is the most complete teaching which uh, I personally found out in the homeopathic community, in the homeopathic teachings. And uh, more and more students should do it in order to clarify their mind regarding homeopathy, in order to get clarity 
about the theory about the material about the application of everything in the patient and get result yes. give the complete picture 3d dimensional picture so we are very thankful for academy uh, george and uh, atul sir and also maria as a homeopath i feel that the society as it, as the generation moves ahead we are lacking in that essence and the feeling of love the friendship the relationships and the healthy mental state we are lacking somewhere in today's time and i feel homeopathy has the possibility to get that happiness back get that essence of love back and make people more happy about their selves and make them know themselves more and you know move ahead in life towards the higher self existence the reason of existence of oneself that is what i feel is unique about homeopathy and i feel responsible in bringing that essence back to society in my 12th science i decided to take admission uh, in allopathy that is modern medicine but by the grace of god <laughs> i chose homeopathy and i am really lucky that uh, god gave me a, this such a beautiful uh, branch that heal the people at mental emotional and physical plan that is person as a whole i learn about uh, the materia medica and uh, theory organo and everything when i started uh, learning all these thing i came uh, to know that homeopathy is not only the science for uh, the medical field but it also teaches the way how to live life when the patient takes homeopathic medicine uh, he is happy after taking the medicine homeopathy changes in uh, his uh, soul his uh, his it, internally the patient is very uh, very different after taking homeopathic medicine so i felt that this is the best science to give happiness to the patient also to spread the happiness that is why i came in this field clinical preparation is equally important because unless and until we see with our own eyes we cannot believe we cannot get that confidence to practice so there can be two types in which we can get clinical preparation of the students one is when the experienced homeopath takes live cases in front of them and shows them the results in front of them this will give them confidence to practice second they own they start taking their own cases and they have a simultaneous teacher or an experienced homeopaths to help them with their cases so this clinical training is equally important after they have completed the course and they have seen uh, and understood all the principles the clinical preparation should definitely start patients who have read about homeopathy or are considering homeopathic treatment they must understand that homeopathy is a holistic treatment and it cures the person from deep within so the message to them is that in order to when they start considering homeopathic treatment they should try to find a classical homeopath a homeopath who gives time a homeopath who will try to find the single remedy who will follow all the principles of homeopathy to so try to find a classical homeopath so that you can lead to this path of cure in their sickness and to the students of homeopathy who wants who are can still considering homeopathy treatment i would just say that homeopathy is is the mainstream of medicine and it can really help the patient really cure the patient there is there are infinite possibilities with this treatment but they also have to be careful that there is only one homeopathy in this world there are no multiple types of homeopathy homeopathy which was originally discovered by hanuman followed through his disciples 
and is still continued as being taught by Professor George Mitholkas. This is one thing we have. Uh, we are completely sure of that there is no other uh, person in this world. Uh, I mean, I would not say no other person, but Ho Professor George Vithulka's course, the e-learning course of International Academy of Classical Homeopathy, teaches you exactly on the principles of Hanuman. And this is the course which every sincere homeopathic student should pursue once they start to consider homeopathy as their career in their lives. So, practically speaking, it means that every patient, though they have this, though they might have the same diagnosis, but in homeopathy, the remedy for each one of them will be different. Because every patient adds his own stamp to the disease. And this is why individualization is so important to find the correct remedy. And in homeopathy, we consider the peculiar symptoms of the case which the patients uh, in all levels, the peculiar symptoms to find the correct remedy. Now, of course, it makes it difficult. We have to find the different remedy. How is the thirst? How is how much chilly are they? Are they restless? Do they want company or do they want to be alone? So all these parameters take us towards the remedy. So it becomes more difficult, but it is more, the effect is significant, immediate and a cure, a deep cure. It also makes us difficult to do the blind control studies because we don't follow general treatment. It is individualized. So we can treat 10 different cases with different remedies and can prove the effectiveness of homeopathy. But we cannot give them all these patients the same remedy. So what they do, the blind control, we cannot follow that in homeopathy. If all young homeopaths like you and even experienced homeopaths who have experience, they should stick to the rules and they should learn from the correct teachers. Then there is uh, well, phenomenal spread and growth of homeopathy. So all the uh, new students should go to the correct institutions, learn and master the correct and classical homeopathy. And here classical means following the rules laid down by Hanuman and not uh, change uh, leaving those rules then there is definitely great success even with the most difficult cases and uh, it's a great personal satisfaction also that you see miracles happening in your practice so my suggestion is to follow good institutions and teachers who teach the cl classical homeopathy no, there is a secret here. You see, I was uh, very fortunate to spend uh, two years of my life under directly under Professor Vithulkas. So I was with him all the time from morning to night and uh, be an assistant in all his cases, sit on the computer to assist him. So that was a great learning experience because all cases that have been uh, unsuccessful all around the world would turn up to Elonesos to be treated under Professor Vithulka. So all of them were very difficult cases and to see them getting better and what is the way and this was uh, slowly this gave me the confidence that if we follow the correct form of homeopathy then we can treat difficult cases also. So, I think this is my secret that I have seen Professor Vithulkas uh, showing miraculous results in chronic cases, in acute emergency cases and this brought the faith and uh, the confidence in me that 
homeopathy really works in all situations and this is what i can suggest you i just would like to share a little bit about my experience and a little bit about what i think i was very fortunate for for be able to live this experience and i think that every you know every homeopathic young students should have this opportunity at least once in their lives of study abroad homeopathy of see how homeopathy is in other uh, countries in other part of the world because in this way a part of the experience that you that you are winning a part of all the teachings that you can have this also gives you all all the confidence so all the other degrees have these uh, opportunities to study abroad and to make this interchange in between universities and all those things and i was thinking why homeopathy does not have that opportunities i mean why the universities do not have these opportunities i think that this is something very important to think about it in the future i really would like to see uh, young homeopathic students uh, studying abroad. This is something that I really, really would like to see in the future. What did I learn from this experience? First of all, that India is really, really wonderful. I mean, all the teachings, the, uh, you learn a lot about authenticity and you learn about the purity and about uh, the, what you give always uh, be real and secondly realizing the importance that homeopathy holds for all of us as a generation that in a few years uh, we will have this capacity to make decisions about the future and about the course of the planet so i think that we still do not realize how important is homeopathy for us as a generation I once read somewhere that if some, uh, you know, another kind of life, another way of life would like to interact with us, with, hum with humans, uh, the most genuine uh, way to explain what a human being is uh, would be uh, to give them a homeopathic materia medica. Because, you know, in the homeopathic materia medica, we have all of the states, emotional, physical, and mental states that a uh, human uh, goes through. So this big is the importance of homeopathy. Uh, as Professor George Vitulka says, that the only hope for us as a humanity, the only hope will be always homeopathy. This big is the importance of homeopathy in for our generation and of course for the world so from my perspective or our main hope as a humanity will be of course be aware of our evolution and be aware of homeopathy as the best therapeutic modality because as i said once is not if you are in favor of homeopathy or against homeopathy because i think it, it's not a battle uh, it's about the existence of intrinsic mechanism that we uh, still do not fully understand. But when you are in your daily practice and you see the, the effectiveness, you become completely certain of its effects. So this is also an invitation to everyone who is watching to read and to study about homeopathy and to open their minds and uh, doesn't matter anything about your age. Every time that in the hospital I receive some uh, questions or suspicious questions about homeopathy and, or people who hesitate about homeopathy, I always replay the same that uh, this is not my battle and I will not fight with you. Uh, you I just would like to recommend you to read about this and then we can talk because I will not change your mind if you are not open to learn. As a young generation, uh, I think that my biggest uh, purpose is to one day be able to speak about homeopathy completely open 
in in you know in meetings with scientists and be completely open and understand really the mechanism of homeopathy and I think that this will be a very good scenario for humanity also. Finally, I would really like to express my deepest gratitude to the land that hosted me during uh, this time, uh, to all the beautiful people in India, and of course my deepest gratitude uh, from the bottom of my heart to Dr. Atul and Dr. Olatika Jaggi and all the H3 clinic team for all the support and the love and all the teachings that I received during this uh, stay. And of course, um, the most big uh, thanks to Professor George Vitulkas for all the teachings and for guiding us and for being the inspiration of hundreds of students and for this legacy of generations of students who will continue practicing homeopathy for many, many, many decades to come. Especially my most sincere and deep gratitude to Maria Corianopoulou for all the support that she has given to us, not only to us, but also to homeopathy. Thank you.